do I begin to tell this story? I don't know where I want to begin, but I'll begin with my name. Hi everyone, I'm Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I really don't know where I want to begin with this. I do want you to stick around if you want to know how to peel farm fresh eggs. I know that's been a problem for some of you, and I was asked the question, or actually mentioned to me how hard they are to peel. Well, I did a video a long time ago, but to find it is like easier to just do it again. So I'm doing it again and I'm putting it in for you. And I also wanted to show you, because yesterday I mentioned, here maybe you should hold on to a few things so I don't, because I've got too much stuff here. i got a lot of stuff. <laughs> yesterday I mentioned the, the scribble Christmas tree, but I didn't show you. So I'm going to show you today. I'm going to use a green marker. You want to hold the red and the blue? <laughs> I'm going to show you what a, a scribble Christmas tree should be. Let me move over. Let me look, see if it's okay. It's in the thing. So what you do is you just kind of scribble. You make a tree. Well, my tree's not very good. Maybe I'll make it again. The bottom's I'll supposed try to... Try this way. Yeah, this... Well, whoops. Sorry. Okay. I made a scribble tree. I guess. It's just a scribble. Got to remember. Just scribbling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then on this, and his tree was so good. And then you put some ornaments on it. You decide where you want to put the ornaments. Okay. And I want a star on mine, too. So now we're going to use, oh, can you see? I don't know. I guess you can see. I want to put a star. I got to open my marker. I'm using blue this time. And I'm going to put a star up there. And there's, that's a scribble tree. <laughs> I'm not an artist, can you tell? But anyways, that was a scribble tree. Okay, I mentioned that, and that was something that I wanted to mention today. I'll put the board down over here. Um, the cards are next. I got two cards in the mail, and I was so excited when I got the cards in the mail. This one was from Voon. And Voon, it's beautiful. And guess what you did to me? You glitter bombed me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Blue Bike and Doyle, forget it. I've already been glitter bombed. I touched it and then I was crocheting. And like, see, I've got sparkles. And I can put sparkles here. <laughs> <laughs> I watched um, another channel and she did a sparkle for the, I forgot what the name was, but she said she was from Western New York. So I have to, um, I can't remember her name. Darn it. I would sell you if I did. Okay, and I also got a card from my pen pal, Nolan. Thank you, Nolan. I got a card from you. Oh, this is so nice. I see you. I get to see you and your family and your dog, Rookie. And that must be your mama on the back. Oh, you're a very handsome family. Very nice. I love the ears on everybody and the hats. My goodness. Thank you very much. And I wanted to show you, oh, there's so much I want to tell you today. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you when people mention New York. This was a thing that really gets to me. They mention New York and they say, New York, this is New York. And everybody thinks New York City, which is way down here. Over. Where? Oops. Right there. Right there is New, York, New York City. City. And they call all the rest of this upstate. Guess what? We're bigger than they are. So why do they not remember us? And I live way over here. Way at the end. So it's it's like... I live in that county. So when people say they're from western New York, it takes in all these counties. So they could be far away or they could be real close. I don't know. There's five counties in western New York. Yeah, I can't see them. I don't know. There's Chautauqua, Cattaraugus, Allegheny. What else? Um, uh, Erie and Niagara. Erie and Niagara. So you could be in one of those counties. Then it's Finger Lakes. And then it's... Central. Central. I think down Lucy, below I think is, Lucy Central. is in Central. And down below is Central is Southern Tier. Yeah. There's so many counties in New York, and all the people know is 
New York, New York City. City. That's not fair. And I remember when I had the kids from Austria. Uh, yep. Was it Austria? Austria, yeah. yes. They were so excited <laughs> they were going to get to go to New York. When they sent them, they sent them out here. So they were so disappointed. They were not the happiest girls that you'd ever seen. They really thought they were going to the city. We are the farthest from the city that you could ever be. Well, let's go to that video so you can see how to peel your eggs. We'll go to that now. Today is a day to boil eggs. If you notice, I have a lot of eggs. I just gave a dozen away. I got to give more away today, but I'm going to boil a dozen. I've had questions about how I boil fresh eggs. As you can see, I take this one, then I move this one over, this one over, and then it comes up. And this way, I keep the rotation so that the oldest ones are being used first. Then I take the dozen that's in the fridge. Put that there. Put the dozen that I just brought over next to it. So this one will be used first and then this one. We'll use this one first, then we'll take some from this one. I have showed this process before on how to boil fresh eggs. It's really hard to, to peel them if you don't do what I'm going to do. And so I will show you. So what I do first is I take the egg, because I don't wash my eggs before I put them in the fridge because they have the natural bloom on them. I wash them off a little bit. I then take this, it's a quilter's pin because it's got the nice big um, end. And this is the fat end of the, of the egg. The egg is shaped like it's got the skinny end and it's got the fat end. This is the air pocket. And so what I do is I, I push the pin into the air pocket. Once I push it into the air pocket, then I put it in my pan. And then when I get all the eggs I want in there, I will add the water and show you that part. Just push in. It goes in pretty easy. I'll do one more for you. This is one of the this is one of the bantam eggs. These have a tougher shell. We'll see how it goes in. And it goes in. And you just, it's just a teeny tiny pinhole, itty bitty, just enough to make it easier to peel when it's time to peel it. I'll show you one more poking. You put your finger on the end, guide it, hold the egg, and just pop through. After I get all the eggs that I'm going to boil in the pan, I'm now going to add cold water. I add just enough water to cover the eggs, and you notice none of them float. This means that they're all very, very fresh. If your egg were to stand up on end like this, it's, it's still fresh, but it's not as fresh as the ones that are laying flat. And then if it floats to the top, you want to get rid of it because it's probably rotten. So you, if, as long as they're in the water, and if they stand on end, they're okay, but if they float up out of the water, it's no good anymore. I bring my eggs to a boil. I let them boil for about five minutes. Then I turn the burner off and I let it sit for at least 20 to 25 minutes. As you can see, the eggs are boiling. Now we will turn them off, we'll cover them, turn off the burner, and just let them sit. And it is 12.09, so probably 12.30 I'll be back. Oh no, I'm a minute late, but that's okay. Put the pan in the sink and then I will run some cold water in there with it. I just make it cold enough to where it's not going to burn my fingers, but it's still warm. It's pretty warm in there. You don't want to make it cold. Then you take this, the egg, 
and the end that we put that little hole in, that little tiny pinhole, that's the side that you want to crack. So I crack it on the sink. Then you pinch that part where the, the um, air bubble is, and then you just start. But if you wait too long, see the skin that's there? That will tighten. If it's cold, it will tighten right down onto the egg, and it won't let you peel it. So you want to take it out when they're warm. That's, that's what makes peeling a fresh egg so easy. So see, it comes right off. And then I just run it in the water just to, to rinse it off. And then I just drop it in my bowl. This is one of the harder shelled ones. This is a, a bantam egg and they're, they've got tougher shells. So if you get any of those, you do the same thing. You pinch on the air pocket and then you start peeling. And they will peel pretty easy. Once in a while you'll run into one that gives you a hard time, but that's just once in a while. You take the eggshell off, and because there's little pieces on it, I always run it in the water. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I want to say thank you to Nolan, and thank you to Voon for the lovely card. And she wrote a really cute note, nice note in there. She enjoys my channel, which is nice because I enjoy yours too. Whenever I see Voon, I think of her as my one of my own kids. She does a lot of stuff like we did when I was growing up, and she's still doing it. So I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> okay, I know. That came out like a song. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.